using AutoGem settings. In this task, we open and investigate the geometry model. Click File Open. The File Open dialog box appears. Select Step parentheses dot stp comma dot step close parentheses from the type drop down list. Select meshing dot stp and click open. The import new model dialog box appears. Keep all the default settings and click OK. The geometry is displayed in the window. In the ribbon, select the Inspect tab. Select Volume from the Measure Types drop-down menu in the Measure group. The Measure colon volume dialog box appears. In the measure colon volume dialog box, click the drop down arrow to expand the results layout. The model volume is reported in the measure colon volume dialog box as shown. Note, if solid geometry is selected and only surfaces are available in the model, no volume is reported. Close the Measure colon Volume dialog box. In this task, we assign material properties to the model. In the ribbon, select the Home tab. Click Materials from the Materials group. The Materials dialog box appears. Select Brass.mtl from the Materials list and click Add Material. Click OK. Click Material Assignment from the Materials group. The Material Assignment dialog box appears. Verify that Part colon Meshing is listed in the References section and Brass is listed as the material in the Properties section. Click OK. In this task, we add a mesh to the model. In the ribbon, select the Refine Model tab. Click AutoGem from the AutoGem group. The AutoGem dialog box appears. Keep all the default settings and click Create. The model is meshed as shown. In the AutoGem Summary dialog box, click Close. In the Diagnostics AutoGem Mesh dialog box, click Close. In the AutoGem dialog box, click Close. Click No when prompted to save the mesh. In this task, we create a volume region for mesh refinement. In the model, select the Refine Model tab. Click Extrude from the Volume Region drop-down menu in the Regions group. The Extrude dashboard appears. Select the Placement tab. Click Define. The Sketch dialog box appears. 
select the surface shown in the model. Click Sketch. In the ribbon, select the Sketch tab. Click Sketch View from the Setup group to orient the sketch plane. Click References from the Setup group. The References dialog box appears. Select the edge of the hole as a reference for the geometry that will be sketched. Click Close. Sketch a circle with a 5 mm diameter centered on the hole as shown. Click OK to return to the Extrude Dashboard. Click Through All. Click Apply Save Changes. In the ribbon, select the Refine Model tab. Click AutoGem from the AutoGem group. The AutoGem dialog box appears. Keep all the default settings and click Create. The model is meshed as shown. Note the distribution of the elements around the hole. Note, the virtual boundary of the volume region is now part of the model and therefore nodes are forced to be created using this boundary. Also notice that the back of the model, where the other boundary of the volume region is, is meshed too. In the AutoGem Summary dialog box, click Close. In the Diagnostics AutoGem Mesh dialog box, click Close. In the AutoGem dialog box, click Close. Click No when prompted to save the mesh. In this task, we create a surface region for mesh refinement. In the ribbon, select the Refine Model tab. Click Surface Region from the Regions group. The Surface Region dashboard appears. Select the References tab. In the Sketch section, click Define. The Sketch dialog box appears. Select the surface shown in the model. Click Sketch. In the ribbon, select the Sketch tab. Click Sketch View from the Setup group to orient the sketch plane. Click References from the Setup group. The References dialog box appears. Select the edge of the hole as a reference for the geometry that will be sketched. Click Close. Sketch a circle with a 7.5 mm diameter centered on the hull as shown. Click OK to return to the Surface Region Dashboard.
select the surface shown in the model. Click Apply Save Changes. In the ribbon, select the Refine Model tab. Click AutoGem from the AutoGem group. The AutoGem dialog box appears. Keep all the default settings and click Create. The model is meshed as shown. Note the distribution of the elements around the hole. Note, the virtual boundary of the surface region is now part of the model and therefore nodes are forced to be created using this boundary. Note, the back of the model is not meshed. In the AutoGem Summary dialog box, click Close. In the Diagnostics AutoGem Mesh dialog box, click Close. In the AutoGem dialog box, click Close. Click No when prompted to save the mesh. This completes the demonstration.